Webmasters. Jay Todd here at IGB Affiliate London. I'm caught up with Mark from ICS Digital. And this gentleman just gave a presentation on something really interesting, and I thought you guys would like to, to know about it. You know, affiliates have a hard time competing with big brands, and there's a lot of new markets opening up, but you guys kind of specialize in that. So if, say, you're an affiliate wanting to go into a new market, and you needed a little bit of assistance, help, maybe some advice, that's where these guys come in. So Mark, thanks for coming on. Tell the affiliates a little bit about what your company does. Yeah, absolutely, and it's my pleasure to be involved. I think one of the things when you look at new markets is that there's so many to choose from, but it's important not to get too excited at the size of the prize. For us, it's about making sure you're de-risking your strategy, taking a look at what your capabilities are and how you can scale up in the most cost-effective way because nobody likes to lose money, nobody likes to waste money, especially if you're a revenue-focused affiliate who wants to grow in the right way. So this is something that we definitely advise people on formally and informally. We're always happy to help give tips and tricks across the industry. It's why we're here today speaking at IGB. But when it comes to selecting your market, sometimes it comes down to where am I most competitive? What do I have to say about, for example, the sports that are most relevant in that sector? Or if you're like a casino affiliate, that kind of thing. What do I have to say about how people search in that market? Can I give a good answer? Can I be authoritative in that native language or end up with localized content, whatever it happens to be? So one of the things we always advise is to take a real sober look at what you can do and then find what kind of partners you can collaborate with. And it don't necessarily be us, it can be freelancers, it can be enthusiastic people who are consultants. There's lots of ways to approach the international opportunity. The main thing is to make sure you're not spinning your wheels and focusing on the fundamentals of acquisition, which for an affiliate is often the content on your site, it's the quality and topical relevance of the backlinks you have, and in a new market that means local links and local media links, uh, which is something I know the audience of this you know, publication are really uh, up to date on. So that's kind of what we focus on in terms of the technical advice and the wider strategy, for sure. You know, I'm already learning new things just listening to you speak, and maybe it's because I've been, you know, uh, out of the game, so to speak, for a while and just doing video. But you were mentioning something before we went on which I found very intriguing, and that is you can actually, say, help an affiliate compete against a larger company, maybe perhaps even an operator, that uh, could outspend them. And you guys have some strategies to deal with that. Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the most fun things about the gaming landscape is that there's always big spenders who, do, who go wild. And sometimes that's fun as an observer, but when you're competing with them, you don't want to mimic that. It's kind of fun to watch at a distance. So what we say is if you're going up against operators who have big, big wallets, one of the best things you can do is improve upon your understanding of the customer and what they want, what knowledge they need. So with us, that means having a real granular approach to the content that you're putting together in the native language. It's also being clever around your own PR because PR doesn't need to be enormously expensive. It's the more creative you can be, the more doors that will open up for you in terms of local media, international media, which is great for SEO, but it's also really good for your brand. And for, as an affiliate, if you can build your brand presence, you're building value for yourself, and you're probably going to make better deals with operators because they think, okay, this is a serious entity, and they've got something to offer that other affiliates can't. So creative, cost-effective ideas to open up doors for journalists, they're a really good approach, and then having a real sober outlook when it comes to planning your on-site content, anticipating search trends, and being the best possible resource for the end customer and betters, that's the way to go. Man, that is some sound freaking knowledge you're throwing down. Listen to this man, preach! Okay, one more thing. If someone's listening to this or like me and they're like, damn, that guy's got some, some good ideas. I want to work with them, I want to hear more, I want to learn more. Where can they go to contact you guys? Uh, we're always available on www.ics-digital.com. For localization and language and all that fun stuff, we have www.ics-translate.com. But the entire team is always ready to give advice, particularly to smaller affiliates, because it's what we love to do. We like seeing people with big ideas, with big ambitions. So contact any of us across LinkedIn, email, whatever you like. We'll always be happy to share some tips and tricks. Awesome, Martin, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your knowledge with us.